Tradition 10. Narcotics Anonymous has no opinion on outside issues, hence the NA name ought never be drawn into public controversy. Narcotics Anonymous is a society of recovering addicts who help one another stay clean by applying certain sp simple spiritual principles. Our primary purpose as groups and as a fellowship is to offer that same help to any addict seeking recovery. Aside from that, NA has no opinions whatsoever. By refusing to take sides on other issues, we avoid becoming embroiled in public controversies that could dis distract from our primary purpose. This is the message of our 10th tradition. To most of us, it, seems, it probably seems obvious that Narcotics Anonymous, as a fellowship, has no opinion on the pressing world issues of our day. Most of these issues have little to do with either addiction or recovery. But there are a great number, addict, uh, number of addiction-related issues that others might expect a worldwide society of recovering drug addicts to take positions on. What is NA's opinion, we are sometimes asked, on the addiction treatment industry, other 12-step fellowships, the legalization of drugs, addiction-related illnesses, and all the rest? Our answer, according to Tradition N, 10, is that our groups and our fellowship take no position, pro or con, on any issues except the NA program itself. We maintain neutrality on su such issues so that we can maintain our focus on what we do best, sharing recovery from one addict to another. However, even in explaining our own pro program in public, we may found, find ourselves treading on controversial ground. NA's views on total abstinence, on the possibility of recovering society without long-term institutionalization, on the disease concept of addiction, even our broad views on spirituality are not met with universal acceptance. Others who deal with addiction and recovery may view these matters very differently than we do. We cannot die, deny those aspects of our program that others take exception to. We can, however, take care to explain our program in such a way as to not invite controversy deliberately. We do not suggest that everyone adopt our views, nor do we oppose those with different views we can explain. We simply want you to know what the Narcotics Anonymous program is like. So long as we focus, as groups and as a fellowship, on our recovery experience rather than our opinions of why or how NA works, we will stay as far as possible from public controversy. Tradition 10 restricts NA as a fellowship from stating opinions on outside issues. However, it places no such restriction on the individual member. In Narcotics Anonymous, we believe strongly in personal freedom. Addicts who have a desire to stop using can become members of NA simply by saying so. We have no dues or fees, no pledges to sign, no promises to make to anyone, ever. Though a spiritual program, we encourage our members to develop their own understanding of a higher power. Even our leaders are only trusted servants with no power to tell individual members what to do, think, or say. NA members are encouraged to think for themselves, to develop their own opinions, and to express those opinions as they see fit. The only caution Tradition 10 offers individual NA members is that, when speaking publicly, we think through what we're going to say before we say it. In certain situations, anything an NA member says will be taken as NA's opinion, even when the situation itself has nothing to do with Narcotics Anonymous and the member clearly states that the views expressed are strictly personal. It's not our fault if others misinterpret what we say as individuals. This does not, however, make the complications arising from such misinterpretations any less serious for NA. We may be able to avoid such complications before they arise simply by thinking carefully before we speak in public. But what about speaking in a recovery gathering? Does the Tenth Tradition tell us that as individuals... As individual recovering addicts, we must not talk in any meetings about the challenges we face? No, it does not. While a particular problem may be an outside issue, its effect on our recovery is not. Everything affecting a recovering addict's life is material for sharing. If a problem we are having impacts our ability to stay clean and grow spiritually, it's not an outside issue. Many things we can put off many things can put us off balance and challenge our recovery. We often discuss such challenges with one another at our meetings, seeking to ease our personal burdens by sharing them with our fellow NA members. We ask others to share how they have applied the principles of the program in similar circumstances, recovering their balance and strengthening their recovery. We need no one's permission to talk about such things in our meetings. But for all that, we all know that controversial personal opinions can distract our meetings from their primary purpose. If everything is recovery material, yet we want to help our meetings retain their focus on recovery, how do we decide what to share? We can ask ourselves some questions. Am I sharing from my experience or am I expounding an opinion? As an individual, am I dwelling in the problem or seeking the solution? 
Do I share to draw the group together or to force the group into separate camps? Do I make it clear that what I say, I say for myself, not for Narcotics Anonymous? So long as we keep our common welfare and our primary purpose in focus, we will avoid the kind of controversy that distracts us from recovery. Applying Spiritual Principles, page 199. Foremost among the principles our groups and our fellowship apply in practicing Tradition 10 is the principle of unity. For all the diversity of individual opinion among our members, Narcotics Anonymous itself is united in having no opinion on any issues apart from its own program, page 200. As a fellowship, we agree to take positions only on those ideas that have drawn us together, our principles of recovery, not on many personal opinions that might divide us. The Tenth Tradition is an exercise in responsibility. As groups and as a fellowship, we are responsible to carry our message to the still-suffering addict. We are responsible, responsible to provide an atmosphere in which recovering addicts can share freely with one another. To do these things effectively, we must stay as free of the distractions of public controversy as possible. We may not be able to avoid all public controversy because various features of the Narcotics Anonymous program itself, such as our views on total abstinence, may arouse a certain amount of contention in some public quarters. However, we absolutely can avoid any controversies which might arise from groups or the fellowship taking positions on issues entirely outside the scope of our program. Individual NA members responsibly exercise the Tenth Tradition by personally guarding NA's neutrality whenever and wherever they speak. Publicly, we differentiate between our personal opinions and those of NA, avoiding the expression of any personal opinions at all in circumstances where the difference might not be recognized. In meetings, NA members make it clear that what we share is our own experience, not the position of Narcotics Anonymous, providing as little opportunity as possible for misinterpretation. The way we speak as NA members often affects how others view NA. Therefore, as responsible members, we speak carefully, guarding the neutrality that is so important to the welfare of us all. To fulfill Tradition 10, our groups, service boards, and committees must exercise prudence in their public contacts. Elements of our fellowship are constantly in touch with others in society. Groups maintain contacts with their meeting facilities and those in their neighborhoods. H&I subcommittees with facility administrators, public information workshop workers, with health professionals, charitable organizations, government agencies, and the media. In all our contacts with society, we must take care not to express any opinions on issues outside the scope of our program. Such prudence will protect our credibility in the public eye on the only issue that truly concerns Narcotics Anonymous, our program of recovery from addiction. By practicing the Tenth Tradition, we demonstrate our belief in the value of anonymity. All of us have our opinions, but when we speak as groups and as a fellowship, we do not take positions on the opinions of individuals. What we have to share with the public is our fellowship's message, not our personal opinions. Tradition 10 is supremely practical. The only issue upon which our fellowship is willing to publicly stake its reputation is the NA program itself. Underlying the practicality of the Tenth Tradition, however, can be found a fundamental spiritual principle, that of humility. Narcotics Anonymous does not claim to have the answer to every trouble in the world. We do not even claim that we necessarily have the only answer to addiction. When we share in public, as groups or as a fellowship, we share only our message. We talk about what we do, neither supporting nor opposing what anyone else does. We are what we are, and that's all we are, a society of recovering drug addicts sharing their recovery with one another and offering the same to the addict who still suffers. We speak simply about our program, knowing that our effectiveness will attract more goodwill than any amount of promotion. Our program has worked for us and is available to, for others interested in recovery. If we can be of service, we stand ready to help.